derivation of permutations. We need to, we're going to derive n p r equals n factorial over n minus r factorial. n is a set of object items to be selected from. n is the number of objects to be selected from n at a time. So I said the first selection will be n different ways because there are n of them. The second will be n minus 1 different ways. The third will be n minus 2. Notice the 3 and 2. Notice the 2 and 1. Now the rth and rth selection will be n minus r but not r r. It's going to be r plus 1. Because if r is fourth then you will get n minus 4 plus 1. Minus 4 plus 1 is minus 3. The earth selection or place can be filled in. You get n, n minus 1 times n minus 2, da 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 da, and you'll go all the way to n minus r plus 1. Different ways. Therefore, n permutation r will be n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times da 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 da, da all the way to n minus r plus 1. If n is not equal r, right, so if we continue the uh, factorial here, and then we go all the way, we didn't stop there, and then we go all the way to 1, so that would be, the next one would be, obviously you're decreasing by 1, so you take away 1 from there, you get n minus r. If you take away 1 from there, you get n minus r minus 1, and go all the way to 1. That means we've multiplied by some factors which does not belong to that. So now what we need to do is divide by the factors that we've multiplied it. So if we then cancel the top and bottom, you still get back that. So now we are now dividing it by n minus r, n minus r minus 1 all the way to 3 times 2 times 1. So the top is just a factorial for n. You go n all the way to 1 and the bottom you can see it's a factorial for n minus r factorial. This is n minus r times times n minus r minus 1 times n minus r minus 2 all the way to 3 times 2 times 1. Therefore, n permutation r equals n factorial over n minus r factorial.